Well, I might be a, I know bad taste, but to know get bad taste, you have to have, you know, all the rules of good taste, with my, which my parents painstakingly taught me. That's probably why I rebelled. Uh, I was almost fascistly good taste I was raised with, but I'm thankful for it, actually, because you can't have fun with bad taste unless you know how to break the, you know the rules to break. I actually think I have good taste. I don't think I have bad taste. I, I, um, uh, I think fashion can use bad taste, certainly. Um, fashion can take um, the worst thing that everybody threw out and make everybody want to spend too much money and buy it again. That's a magic trick. That's art, isn't it? That's, that's not bad taste. That's brilliance, if you ask me. Um, but taste is ever-changing. And um, I always tell kids, if you want to change, start a fashion revolution, you get on the fashion nerves of the people that are three years older than you that are hip. Not your parents. Uh, you have to get the people that were your age that just just discovered something and you got to knock them down from that mat, from that, uh, I don't know, that mantle of fashion success to start your own. So obviously when you're young, thrift shops are the place to go. But um, I can't find anything in thrift shops anymore, so I spend too much money on clothes that look like they were the worst thing in a thrift shop. But if you're young, you really can buy the worst thing in a thrift shop and look really, really fashionable and pull it off. Yeah, I love, I love your... Well, certainly with um, a lot of the designers I like, it does look like something's wrong with them. And I have a really good cleaner in Baltimore now that has finally learned how to do everything because the dry cleaning instructions on some of these clothes are hilarious. I mean, you think the onion wrote them. I mean, they're, but, but they're so complicated. It said, yes, fabric may fade, uh, rip, bleach, become dissolved. And it's like, what? You just paid a thousand dollars? But uh, it, it's kind of great because it's fashion in reverse. And then I can wear these clothes to like blue collar bars in Baltimore and nobody thinks you're bragging. No, there's anything but ostentatious. They say to me in Baltimore, that's a shame about that shirt. <laughs> and they don't know that it costs $1,000. So it's hilarious, I think. It's, it's like same reason Andy Warhol supposedly, sometimes under his gap turtleneck, wore a um, $100,000 woman's necklace. Nobody could see it, but, but he knew he had it on. It's the same principle. It's not bragging, and it's not condescending to other people, and it's not using fashion to... The fashion I'd never wear is, is, has designer names or logos on it or anything like that. That's for, the, that's for people that are really insecure about their fashion taste.